Atullabun hum? What is the translation? Are they students? La. Hum Mubtada. What is the next word? Laisu bi tullabin. So now this is a jumla failure coming as a khabar for whom? Got the idea? Laisu. Brother, where is the verb? Laisu. You will say with vow. Whom? Huh? Vow. And then when it vow came, it became laisu. Okay. Laisu, brothers and sisters. Laisu is your verb. Huh? Fialu. Nakisun jamidu. Now where is Ismu Laisa? Alwa. Huh? This is your Ismu Laisa. Are you with me? This is your Ismu Laisa. Where is the Khabar Laisa? Bitullah bin. Khabar Laisa is Bitullah bin. MashaAllah. Now look at this sentence, brother. Try to analyze it. I'm sure you can do it. Inna. Inna has come, brother. Ismu Inna has to be Mansub. Where is the ismu inna? Ba'da. Not ba'du. Normally it is ba'du. Inna ba'dahum. So where is the ismu inna? Ba'da. Wa huwa mudaf. And whom? Mudaf ilahi. Inna ba'dahum tujjarun. What is tujjarun? Khabar inna. Are you with me brothers? Inshallah. And again wow came. Ataf. So what will be the next? Ba'da again. Ma'atufun ala first ba'da. Ba'dahum muhandisuna. This is very clear. So again, tujjarun is your khabar. And muhandisun, you can also say it's khabar. Alaka banatun. Do you have daughters? Naam. Li khamsu banatin. Are you with me? So what are six sons and five daughters? We can make a cricket team, huh? And send him to 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 play against India and Pakistan. <laughs> okay. So Li, two words, Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla Khabar, Khamsu, Mubtada, Wahua Mudaf and Banatin Mudafile. Amuta Zavijatun Hunna. Are they married? La, what is the answer? La. Hunna. Are you with me? Hunna. What is Hunna, brother? Mubtada. And where is the khabar? Jumla failure coming as a khabar. Hunna. Lasna bi mutazawijatin. Are you with me? Lasna bi mutazawijatin. So Lasna came. What is Lasna? Lasna has a god fiel laisa. Okay, ya was dropped because of the nunu niswa. Okay, and where is the ismu laisa? Na, mashallah. And where is khabar laisa? Imi mutazawijatin. But you must remember one thing, brothers and sisters, that if you remove b, then the noun will become mansub. Huh? Because khabar laisa can be mansub or can come with b. But with kana, you can never use B. Only with Laisa, B is used. Huh? Again, this is all in the Quran. Huh? Brother and sister, fine. Inna hunna sigarun. Brother, what is this hunna doing here? Inna harfu tawkid wa naspin. Hunna ismu inna, you must say mansubun. Huh? Ismu inna mansubun. There is more analysis to be written. But we will do it in book three. You know. Inna hunna. Where is the khabar of inna? Sigarun. Eh? Mashallah. Mashallah. Oh, now full stop. Now the sentence starts with ba. So what will you say now? Ba'du hunna. Not ba'da. Eh? There is no inna. Ba'du hunna. So ba'du hunna. What is ba'du hunna? Mudaf. Mudafili. So what will you say? Badu Muftada Wahua Mudaf and Mudafilehi. Badu Hunna Fil Madrasatil Iptida Iati. Wa Badu Hunna Fil Madrasatil Mutawasitati. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So 
Badu is Muptida, where is the Khabar? Fil Madrasati. And what is Al Tidaiati? Nat. Same thing will apply next to it. Alaka ikhwatun. Do you have brothers? La. Laisa li ikhwatun. Now this is tricky. Laisa li ikhwatun. This is tricky, brother. But the more complicated it becomes, the more interesting it becomes. Look at it, brother and sister. I'm deliberately trying to finish this now. And then we can have tea, inshallah. Laisa li ikhwatun. Did you write down ikhwatun? Fine. Are you ready? Brother Abdul Samad, I'm going to ask you this question. Laisa fielu. Fialun, Nakesun, Jamun. Fine. I'm not saying Ismulaisa Mustatir. It means it is not hidden here. You can you can be tempted to say it is hidden, but it is not. But uh, Abdul Samad, where is Ismulaisa? Uh, Has to be Marfu. Yeah. Ikhwatun, mashallah, mashallah. Ikhwatun is your Ismu Laisa. And where is Khabar Laisa? Li Jar Majur Shibu Jumla. What is the literal translation? There are no brothers to me. <laughs> are you with me? Laisa Ikhwatun Li. Any brothers are not to me. There are no brothers to me. In other words, we'll say, I don't have brothers. Are you with me? I don't have brother. Huh? That is the correct way of writing. Laisa li ikhwatun. Okay, this is the correct way of answering. Laisa li ikhwatun. So, Bada Muhammad, ikhwatun is the ismul laisa. And li is jar mazur shibu jumla khabar laisa. Fine, brother. Now, in this case, there was, this is only a jumla failure. There is no muftada, nothing there. Inna li Okay, inna Watch for this Inna harfu tawqeed wa nasb Li Jar majur shibu jumla khabar Now where is Ifmu inna brothers Salasa See now your mind is active That Li is jar majur Okay Inna cannot do anything to Jar Majur. Inna can only uh, give its effect of Nasab to a noun. So, Inna li thalatha. Huh? Thalatha akhawatin. Truly, I have three sisters. So, you can also say, if you want for sake of simplicity, Inna thalatha akhawatin li. But, that is not a nice way to say. Inna li thalatha akhawatin. Are you with me? A muslimatun hunna. What is the translation? Are they Muslims? Naam. Hunna muslimatun. Hunna mubtada. Where is the khabar? Muslimatun. And then, walhamdulillah. And Praise be to Allah. All praise be to Allah. Are you with me? Wow, ataf, alhamdu, mubtada, lillah, jar majru, shibu jumla khabar. Next, brother, tea break. Okay, inshallah. A short tea break. Huh? We are back, brothers and sisters, after our break. We finished the laisa. But I just remembered something that I want to share with you again. And I have written here, Inna l'insana. I wrote it in red, Inna. See, talkid number one. La, talkid number two. Brothers and sisters. Okay? So if I do something like this, Inna l'insana. La fi khusrin. See, twice... Talkit comes in a very strong terms. You cannot translate. Inna kalam minal mursalin. And look at this, brother. 
إِنَّكَ This is to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam إِنَّكَ لَأَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ See here Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is certifying giving a certificate of giving a character certificate to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam What kind of a certificate? That you are on the most sublime character Brother not for her dressing up her huh? Are you with me? It was not the way Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam dressed that Allah said this. Are you with me? It was not because of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's appearance. It was because of his character. This is the most important thing to understand. Character. The way he dealt with people. The way he treated his neighbors. The way he treated his children. The way he treated his wives. The way he treated Azhabas. The, be, the way he treated his enemies. That is the character we have to remember. Not his personal appearance, brother. But we sometimes emphasize the personal appearance more and forget the character, brother. If I say something, I hope you won't mind, brother and sister. I always say if I have only one sunnah to observe, Nothing more than one sunnah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What will that be? It will be to become honest and reliable like him. So that his enemies, you know, could not help but praise his honesty and his sincerity. This is the most important sunnah for us. How can, we, how can I become an ummati of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam if I am not honest like him, brothers and sisters? If I am not trustworthy like him, we should judge ourselves from scale of 1 to 10. Alamin, 1 to 10, where do I stand? We should judge ourselves daily, weekly. How, how close I am coming to Alamin from the scale of 0 to 10. Am I up to 9, up to 8? You know, this should be our sunnah. You know, okay. Dress is immaterial, brother. Brother, in, this is such a powerful sentence. Inna ka la ala khuluk in azim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is certifying eh, that you have the most sublime character. The most majestic character. You know, of all human beings, brother. And this is our goal to emulate him in his character to emulate him in his character how did he deal with his wives his children his neighbors his friends his companions his enemies how did he dealt with them you know inshallah we will learn a lot from if we follow and emulate him inshallah and then brothers and sisters there is a quranic verse Okay? Wala diya tu dabahan. Remember that verse? What is it? In al insana li rabbihi. In al insana li rabbihi. Li harf jar. Lakanu. See? Lakan. He is most ungrateful to his Lord. Okay? In al insana. Insana is mu inna. Li Harfchar Rabbi Isam Majru Rahua Mudaf and then he Mudafilay and then what is La Lamu Mozalik? You can say skating lam for emphasis. La Kanu is most ungrateful. And then what Allah Sala? Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala said, Innahu Allah Zalik. La Shaheed. And he is himself his own witness to that. Are you with me? Again, inna hu. Al-Hazalik, that he is most ungrateful. Uh, la Shaheed, he is himself a witness. So, La is Lamu Muzalik, coming for emphasis. And what is the last one, brother? Wa inna hu li hubbi khairi. Lashadid. You know, Hubbil Khairi means 
man, but then, you know, his his quest for earning mal, dunya. How is he? He is desperate. He is going all the way. Uh, but then, look at the emphasis. Innahu lihubbil khairi, lihubbil khairi, la shadidun. It is la shadidun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this is the surah we always recite in our prayers. But brother, now when you read it, you can feel the the power and intensity of the words, brother. Huh? You can huh? then afla yalamu izabu sera mafil kubur. We are going to analyze this afterwards. Huh? And what is the last verse, brother? Huh? In Rabbahum Bihim Yaumaidin La Khabirun. So here comes your khabar. Uh, in, are you with me, brothers and sisters? Take this verse and, and look at them. Take these verses and look at them in the Quran. And you'll feel now that you understand. Brother and sister, this was the reason I, I tried to explain you Lama Muzalik now, instead of waiting for it to come in book three. Because right away you can feel uh, the sweetness and eloquence, you know. Because to explain Lamu Muzalik is not difficult. You know, Lamu Ibtida becomes Lamu Muzalik, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Menaina Hishamun, Huwa Minal. Vilayatil Muttahidati. Inshallah you'll be able to Min Ayyi Madina Tin Huwa. From which city he is? Huwa Min New York. Huh? Okay? The first sentence, the answer will be Huwa Minal Vilayatil Muttahidati. Kam Uhtan Lahu Lahu Salasu Akhawatin. Sahi? Lahu Salasu. Akhawatin. Correct, brothers and sisters? Fine. Now, see what is right and wrong. Huh? Uh, we will be able to do this very quickly, brother, inshallah. Yeshamun min Washingtona. Is it correct? It is wrong. So it is wrong. Akhawatuhu muslimatun. Correct, mashallah. Banatuhu Lasna bi mutazawijatin. Correct? Correct, brother. Abnauhu tulabun. La. That is not correct. Ummuhu laisat bi muslimatin. Can you put the vowel signs, brother? Ummuhu laisat bi muslimatin. Because now you have to figure out the vowel signs, brother. Abuhu Muslimun. Is it correct? Wrong. Huh? So you can, you know, inshallah put those signs. Tahammal ma yali. Ponder the following. Hamidun talibun. Hamidun laisa. Bi talibin. So remember here, Hamidun comes in the beginning of the sentence. So it is jumla ismiya. So we have muftada. And the khabar is coming as a jumla failure. This is the thing you should keep it in mind, brother. Atullabu shigaru. Atullabu, now she tullabu shigama. So it became laisu. Laisu bi shigarin. So bi shigarin, bi talibin, these are all khabar laisa. Okay. Aminatu tabibatun. Aminatu laisat bi tabibatin. Okay. So, how do I analyze this sentence? Aminatu Muftada. Laisat, Laisa, Felun, Nakisun, Jamidun. Ta, Tau, Tanisi. Where is the ism Laisa? Mustatir. What is it? Mustatir. Takadiruhu, Hiya. Because it points out to Amina. And then what is Bi Tabibatim? Jarmajur, Shibu Jumla. Khabar Laisa. Now if I remove B from all these three sentences, what will you say? Hamidun Laisa 
Laisa Ruby, brother. Laisa Taliban. Huh? Uh, and then what will you like say? Atullabu Laisu Sigaran. Huh? And what will you say? Aminatu Laisat Tabibatan. Huh? Are you with me? Inshallah. Fine, brother. Al Fatayatu Mutazavijatun. What will you say? Al Fatayatu Lasna Bi Mutazavijatun. Correct, brother? Fine. This is only we have to ponder, but you know, I used to write it. If you have time, you can write it. If you don't have time, then just read a couple of times, brother. Anta Kabirun. What will you say? Anta. Now we have to put. Take the Laisa and bring the proper format of Anta. Anta Lasta Bikabirin. See, Anta Lasta Bikabirin. Are you with me? Are you following me, brother? Anta Lasta. Huh? Antum Jududun. Antum Lastum Bi Jududun. Huh? Okay. Anti fakiratun. Anti lasti bi fakiratun. Fakiratun. <coughs> Antunna mujtahidatun. Antunna lastunna bi mujtahidatun. Sister, you have a choice. Because in the Quran, B is used all the time. Huh? I will give you the sheet tomorrow with Quranic verses. And you will notice that the B comes. What is the significance of adding B? The Quran is our guide. Yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used Laisa with B. And all our grammar comes from okay. Quran. 1400 years ago, Allah revealed the book in the most eloquent language. It was so eloquent that the greatest poets of that time had to lay down their weapons and admit that we cannot compose anything like Quran. Are you with me? And, and it is, ever since Quran was revealed, till now, Quran is the summit of the eloquence of Arabic language. On top. Uh, nothing has been composed to match Quran. Nothing. And so, 1400 years ago, this kalam came and it became the source of Arabic grammar. At that time, there was no grammar. The grammar was written after studying the Quran. Okay? So, with the Laisa, Sister Maimuna, B has to come. Not with the Kana. That's why I say to you, if you remove, remove B, what will happen? Then you will have to make the noun mansu. For example, huh? Anta Lasta Bi Kabirin. Remove B. What will you say? Anta Lasta Kabiran. Are you with me? Because is, Ismu Laisa Marfu Khabar Laisa Mansu. Okay. I'm going to write down a couple of things for you on board, inshallah. Okay. Let us do one more time. Laisa and try to conjugate. You got to write it and conjugate. Huh? Laisa, Laisa, Laisu, Laisat, Laisata, Lasna, Lasta, Lastuma, Lastum, Lasti, Lastuma, Lastunna, Lastu, Lasna. Very easy. Huwa, Laisa. Hiya, Anta, Anti, Ana, Nahnu, Hum, Laisu hum, laisu hunna, lasna. Huh? Are you with me? Hua, laisa. Hum, laisu. Hia, laisat. Hunna, lasna. Anta, lasta. Antum, lastum. Ana, lastu. Anti, lasti. Nahnu, lasna. Keep that in mind, huh, brothers and sisters. Inshallah. We did that, inshallah. I'm going to write down again, inshallah, some things on the board. Uh, because Brother Saeed <coughs> pointed out something. And uh, I think I want to write down to explain it. 
If you <coughs> cannot retain everything in your mind, brother, don't worry. We will be repeating it so many times that inshallah it will come back to you. Adhil Laisa Allah Jumla Latiya.